Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bloodborne. My name's Brian, your host and commentator. We're gonna head back to the Forsaken Castle, Kanehurst. We're gonna hit up that shortcut that we took to get to the bonfire. Remember that shit? Yeah, you do. We're gonna hit that up. We're gonna do a little bit of a... We're gonna clear out the library, basically. We're also gonna fight the boss of this area, Martyr Lug Lugarius. Lugarius. Oh, and we're going to discover new, new Covenant, too. Man, I feel like my TV's noise is a little loud, but let's see. Come on. I'm, like, trying to get on the thing and, like, I, I want to look at the recording. Yeah, it's a little loud. I, I'm going to have to turn that down. But before I do that, here, let me move this mic stand back a little bit. We're going to send this back down. There we go. Yeah, that shit was gonna pick up everything. All right, here we go. Got more of these ladies. These these kooky kooky gals. I don't know. <laughs> what to call them? Ah, fuck. Here, what was the? Oh, I didn't quite kill. I know two two of the L. Yeah, two. Two of the he heavy um, L2 attacks to kill him. Doesn't look like two of the light ones will though yet. That's a bummer. All right, let's kill this one. One, two. They do scream that puts like a mark on you. I forgot to because it, it didn't really affect me at all during my practice playthrough, so I didn't bother to look it up and see what it did. I was just kind of like, eh, whatever. Want to make sure the recording's good. I'm just worried because, you know, like Oblivion, I can always just re redo it. I can always save it. That's where we came in at. I can always, like, reload the save, but on Bloodborne, it saves after every fucking little thing you do, so that's a little hard. Let's hop over here and nab this item in the chest as we get pelted by this guy, Evelyn, making her appearance. Wouldn't be a Soulsborne game without Evelyn. I think it might make them more aggressive, maybe. I think that's what it does. It kind of like makes them swarm you. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that must be what it does. It, like pisses these ladies off. They're like, God damn it, let's let's fuck this man up. Oh shit. Fuck ow. <laughs> That did a lot of damage, jeez. I saw that, that, I didn't have that happen to me at all on my practice playthrough. So I guess that's what that does, is it makes them more aggressive. That was rough. Ah, shit. Uh, uh. Still got these two, they're everywhere in here, jeez. So many of them. Chop away. That should be it, right? I think that's the only item down here. It is. All right, cool. Let's head on up. Let's go up top. There's one wandering madness or wandering nightmare, whatever they are, um, in this place too. But he's not until like the, the top of the. Well, you'll see. We got a lot going on here. We're gonna loop around this way. Kill this thing real quick. So, yeah, these guys. I guess these guys are here to drop blood vials because I don't know it's like the only it's kind of a weird enemy to be fighting I get I get the wailing ladies but they don't drop blood vials so that's why shit that's why I think these guys are here to oh man they serve the purpose of dropping blood vials for a player because you don't pick up any either all the item drops are non blood vials so does that get this bloodstone chunk hell yeah Got all these things over here. Let's get, let's pop on up here real quick. Damn. And I missed that. Oh no, I didn't miss it. Nice. It's got a bit of an area of effect there. I like it. The sword hits hard. Shit. Man. Oh my god. I hate when like fucking 
tables and chairs and shit just get in the way. I mean, that chair almost caused my death. That was too quick. Maybe I need to go into light, one-handed attack mode. Two blood vials, two blood vials. Nice. And still hear some, some women are weeping. Some weeping women. I think they're down, though. Let's see, are there any... Any enemies? Yep, there are. I'm like, there's some souls over here, I know it. Ah, shit. There he is. I'm like, where's that coming from? I'm not gonna fight that guy while I'm getting pelted from behind. These guys just stagger you, like... It's rough. Let's see if I can get this. <laughs> oh, I missed it that time. Ugh. Gotta go for the L2s. No blood vials? Damn. I can attack through shit too, sometimes, when the game allows it. I'm like, thanks, game. There we go, and then we're back here to the, the, the start, so. Let's see, remember, we went that way. Cleared out this area, just that one item. There's an item over here too, but it's right outside the window. We're gonna do a little bit of, a little bit of platforming here. As usual, wow, that's, that went just fine, but <laughs> usually you wanna fall on that gargoyle statue looking thing there and then fall on this. So, uh, yeah, anyways, let's drop on down. Ooh. Gonna get some gargoyles that, yeah, there he is. Fly over here. Don't let these guys intimidate you, though. There's the first one. I think there's none over here on this side. But yeah, second one comes over here. Get out of here. Yeah, don't let them leap on you. They'll, they'll bite you up good. Okay, heading on in here. Uh, I'm gonna have to play it cool. Yeah, some of them like carry their head like this. They're a bit weaker though. Ah! Damn it, I'm dead. That's it right there. Jeez. All right, here we go, round two. Let's be a little bit more careful about this. I'm gonna hit the left this time. That was a bad move going to the right. We're gonna go to the left now. <laughs> it's what I did last time in my, or in my practice playthrough, I guess. Yeah, last time. I went left first and I was like, man, maybe I should do that because I remember there not being too many enemies. There's like a bunch around that corner. I wasn't ready for that. I'd forgotten all about that. So we can head on over here. We're gonna get our first item in this room. There's three items, or there's two items, sorry. It's the knight's shit. The knight's shit! So this is going a lot smoother this time. I like it. Make sure we nab this. This is just a completely optional room. We're actually going to continue past the gargoyles. Which are the only enemies I killed, so I'm going to have... Whatever, like three... Oh my god, no. I don't want to get, like, killed again by that fucking stun lock. You have my blood echoes. Give me those back. And give me your blood... Oh, Quicksilver bolts. Damn. Say and give me your blood vials. Okay, yeah, killed all the weeping women in there and those little whatever the cronies. I don't know what to call them, but we're gonna drop on down here now. Let's go across here. This is where we're gonna head into in a second. First, we want to head up here though, so we have ourselves a nice little item. But wait, this motherfucker. Who does he think he is? Get your ass down! Ah, oh. get your ass down! Damn it. Get out of here. Slide off the roof. Wait, what'd you drop? Bloodstone chunk. Ooh, I got super lucky right there. Wow. King Cold Blood number 10. I got super lucky. That means I'm going to be able to get my weapon up to... Might be able to get it up to plus, like, what, 8, I think? 
is what it could be at, which is better than my practice playthrough, which is going to make the boss fight a little easier, because the boss fight is a bitch. Alright, so this will open up the shortcut right back into here. You'll recognize this area. It opens on both sides. Now we have a ladder right here, so this is convenient. I like this. This is also where that uh, wandering madness is. Wow, I'm so happy about that bloodstone chunk drop. I feel like I shouldn't use it though, because it's not fair really to... In case you, you don't have it. There's two there. Maybe I won't have enough. Let me. Uh, maybe I'm just getting too excited. I'm not remembering correctly how many you know items there are. Warm blood gemstone three. That increases quicksilver bullet shit. Now the wandering madness is all the way at the end there. You can see all those enemies respawn down there since I died. Skip that shit. One, two, three combo. See, two bloodstone chunks. Very worth it for that wandering madness. Hopefully we'll be seeing more of those here soon. I wanna get I wanna get um my blade, the holy blade up to plus ten. That'd be really cool. As early as possible, please. So let's go on up here. Got some gargoyles to fight. They're gonna be coming after us like one at a time, sort of. There's one already down here. Where are you at? There he is. He's got red eyes too. He's a tougher, tougher goyle. This goyle will fuck you up. Now when you go for this item, those guys up there are gonna come on down. See? Look at them. Knight's wig. Now they can be a little dangerous if there's two of them. It's gonna, oh wow, it still got me. I was like, I'm just gonna keep on strafing. I didn't think it would get me if I kept strafing. Uh. Bloodstone chunk? Oh, damn. I got excited again. I was like, hopefully. I was like, maybe. Alright, we're going to drop on down here. And then on down here. Boom. You got to be careful right here, okay? Don't... Oh, God. It's scary. And just hug the wall as you go around. Make sure you drop down. It's going to take a little damage, but that's fine. Whatever. Whatever, skis. In cold blood, ten. All right. Got one more item to grab. There's two more items to grab. Technically, one's a quest item, but that's not until after the boss. So I'm gonna grab this item, and then I'm gonna hunter's mark out of here. I'm gonna basically do a teleport. So yeah, see, so it gives you two of them right there. I'm gonna do a. Uh, I'm gonna do a little jump cut here. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna level up my weapon and. I'm going to buy some bolt paper. I'm going to get, uh, I'd say three or four should be good. And then I'm going to max out my blood vials and max out my quicksilver bullets. Because this boss is weak against parrying. It's going to be very helpful during this. So I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to go back to the hunter's dream for a second. And do all that. So I'll meet you back here. All right, here we go. You can see I bought a bunch of bolt paper. I bought five of them, actually. That's what I'm rolling in there with. I have Molotovs next. He's not very weak against fire. He's a little weak to it. It adds a little extra damage, but bolt is the way to go. So with Tenitrous at, like, plus seven or eight, it would be pretty good right now. And unfortunately, I cannot <laughs> upgrade my Holy Blade to level eight. I'm one chunk shy, which means I, I ended up getting a Bloodstone chunk from a Gargoyle, I guess, in the practice playthrough. But I have the Blood of Ariana and Yosefka's Blood Vial on deck. And, um, yeah, I guess we're going to head in there. Make sure you have enough Quicksilver bolts, like I said. And don't forget, you can press up on the D-pad if you run out of Quicksilver bolts in this fight. Consumes health, remember, but, you know, just in case. Parrying is going to be key. Like, stunning and then parrying. But here we go. Martyr Logarius. This guy can be a motherfucker, so look out. That's a pretty cool crown. I think I want that. I might have to take that from you, Logarius. He's got his scythe. He also has a blade, which he uses in his left hand. Which he'll attack with sometimes. He has two phases, too. And it's going to be very key 
to do something during the first phase when he goes into the transformation for the second. So once he does it, he's going to be immune to getting staggered and all that. So let's run up here, activate a bolt paper. He's got this range move, which kind of homes in on you. So beware of that. And it can go through the pillars. His melee attacks won't go through the pillars, though. And he has that close attack right there, which is pretty good, too. He'll also... Damn it. He'll also kind of plant one there that, like, explodes after a second or two. way too close to that one. That one was on me. See that thing? Yeah, look out. Man. You can stagger him too in his attacks. No! Oh, I should have known better. Alright, attempt number four. Here we go. See what happens. Ooh, that was my chance to get the stun on too. Missed it though, ah. Uh. Make sure I don't get greedy. There it is. Now make sure this is a round where he'll go into his second phase. There it is. We want to make sure you do enough damage to him from behind. There we go, to stop him and then get the boom. Now he won't be immune to your stuns. He would be otherwise immune to your, like... Oh, shit. <laughs> to your staggers with the gun, but now he's not. Oh, man. He's going to be a lot more aggressive, too, which is where you kind of capitalize on this whole stun-locking thing. There we go, nice. Just keep this up. And over here, just dodge to the right. The scythe is on his right hand, so you want to dodge to his or to your right, I guess. Fuck. When he does that move, just break the sword. That'll stop that shit. Yeah, see, that move's not very effective when you're up close to him, so that's kind of nice. Uh. I'm gonna use his last bolt paper just for good measure. Damn, that thing has some AoE. Woo! Nice try, Logarius. You got me three times. I'm not going to let him get me this time. Fuck. No. Yes! Got him! Woo! Holy shit. Thank God. I was getting a little scared there. I know you guys are getting scared too. You're like, Brian, don't blow this one. And I'm like, guys, I'm about to blow it. But now nah, we got it. Martyr Logarius. There we go. Get the trophy and everything. Let's grab this. That cool crown he had. Crown of Illusions. Thank God. If I failed on this, I was going to have to start getting ready for work. But now I can finish recording the episode and just do all the editing later. Let's go ahead and equip that crown real quick walk towards this uh this door looking thing here
man, it's getting chilly. Must be the wind chill. Oh man, where did that come from? It's like it was uh, all an illusion. And when I wore the crown, it showed, it revealed the truth to me. But yeah, make sure you light that lamp. God, I'm so glad. See, on my practice playthrough, it took me like six attempts or seven maybe with Mario Logarius. I'm glad it only took four on this one. That was good. He's a tough guy, but hey, this is going to be nice. We're going to get some NPC shit finished this episode as well. So let's head all the way on in. I claim no subjects, but here lieth our throne. Kneel afore us, or get thee gone. Yeah, see, she won't even talk to you until you kneel before her. The queen of the vile bloods. Visitor. Moon scented hunter. I am Annalise, queen of Castle Canehurst. <laughs> Ruler of the vile bloods. And sworn enemy of the church. Yet our people are murdered. And we are prisoner to this wretched mask. What is it thou art in search of? Swear an oath to the vile bloods. You might as well. An odd hunter thou art indeed. Get yourself a nice rune. We've tired of these piteous nights. Share in our plight. And take oath against the church. If thou wouldst this path walk, I prithee, partake of my rotted blood. Swear the vile blood oath. Drink deep of our blood. Feel the spreading corruption burn. Mmm. Hey, you're not even drinking. What was that? What kind of bullshit was that? That was a bullshit animation. We they don't expect you to turn the camera around like that. It's not like you have anything better to do when you're listening to her talk. You get the corruption rune and you get a badge. Look at that. We can buy more stuff and you get a gesture. That's why it's all worth it. Now, we don't have any blood dregs to offer. In fact, we need to equip that corruption rune in order to acquire blood dregs, which you get from killing like certain hunters. I guess like church hunters or something. I'm not sure. Let's grab the unopened summons. These are going to be given to Alfred. We're going to complete his story or his NPC quest activate this lamp and let's go back to the hunter's dream we're gonna equip that rune now the corruption rune and then we're gonna go kill Jurev which is gonna give us a blood drag which we can offer to her and get another gesture and then we're gonna go to Alfred give him the summons and then we're gonna come back here and see see what happens when he comes to Castle Canehurst Castle Canehurst let's go equip that rune should probably level up once too while we're here it's gonna be a lot of hunter's mark recalls and stuff like that. Continuously heal near death. So if you have that plus a little tear stone equipped, I guess you heal three per second, like three points. I would suppose per second. Let's get endurance up to thirty. Dirty thirty. Okay, um yeah, we need to go to the Yarnum headstone. I think it's quicker to get there. Yeah, I guess just old Yarnum. Now remember, we made an agreement with him. So if you don't attack any of the enemies, they're going to attack you on your way to him. But if you don't attack any of the enemies, he won't shoot you. Once you attack one, he'll get some dialogue, which I'll probably do like right before we encounter him. I'll attack one of the enemies just to get his dialogue. And, and speaking of dialogue... I kind of fucked up and forgot that the Chalice Dungeon bosses count towards the uh, Afflicted Beggar killing NPCs in the in the Cathedral Ward Chapel. So I went back, right like before I killed Mario Logaris, I was like, wait a minute. And I went there on my practice playthrough, and everyone was dead except... So... Uh, she's the only NPC left. I'm not gonna... I unfortunately won't get the, the two dialogue options from the... The Odin Chapel Dweller that he says about the old woman and whatever the, uh, and Adela. There we go. That was the other one. 
I don't know. There should be a beast. I want to get his dialogue. I know this is like a death trap here. There we go. You devious rat. The makings of a true hunter, this fellow. Very well. Then there's no need to hold back. Beasts will feast tonight. Oh, will they? Maybe I'm going to kill you. Now, this guy was a lot tougher back when we first encountered him, but he's going to be a pushover now. A straight chump. He's not going to do a whole lot of damage to us, so that's pretty nice. We're going to kill him. We're going to get a blood drag, and I think... Oh, yeah, well, we already got the badge by talking to him. You want to go... Now you can knock him off the edge for a quick and easy kill, but I'm gonna try and avoid that. So that's what I did in my practice playthrough. Ah, man. I'm out of <laughs> quick silver bullets. Shit. All right, I can just out. I can out swipe him and attack him. Just think about what you're doing. It's utter madness. So yeah, you get all this shit anyways. Woo, Galen, gonna be cool if we could use it. But alas, we cannot. Let's go ahead and reawaken in the hunter's dream. Go to the chamber of the queen. Give her the blood drag. Get the gesture. And then we'll go take a, we'll pay a little visit to Alfred. Closest of kin. I, what is thy? What is thy if wish? Thy gift pleases us. Let this reward be thine. Indulge thyself in our tainted blood. <laughs> Deep respect. We await thy All right. Time to go visit Alfred. At least everyone's still alive in this playthrough, so that's cool. But I know we just gotta go basically straight down the stairs and then to the right. We can avoid all, a lot of the enemies because they're all facing that way. They won't really catch us. Even these frenzy guys. So you can just run past all this pretty easily. Quite easily. All these slow ass dudes. So we're gonna go behind this giant, remember? He's just kinda chilling down over here. If we bang a hard left, don't drop down there, go hard left. Alfred will be chilling. What's up, Alfred? I got some. Good I got something for you. Safe. Let's make sure nothing's now, following me. Let's think up something to discuss. Just tell me what piques your interest. Let's give him the unopened summons. The it's the last time you're gonna have any dialogue with him, so or like ask him anything. So make sure you ask him about everything if you haven't yet, if you want to. Wonderful. I thank you profusely. I will depart immediately. But profusely. First, a token of my gratitude. The wheel hunter badge. I did not mean to sit down like that. Stand your ass back up, Count Sexy. Uh, You're not done. And the I church bow for male or the male church bow. I guess it's not just for men. Praise the good blood. And let us cleanse these tarnished streets. It has been let us Is that all he says? Yeah. All right, so I know the oldie arm route's a little long, so let's see how long the... So I don't remember this being too long, actually, back to back to the Chapel Dweller. We can kind of chat it up with people there. Just go hard right. Let's 
Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. I don't know. It might be about the same distance. Feels like a, quite a few less enemies, though. If I'm being honest, maybe this is the route you want to take from the chapel. But yeah, they're doing all good. Thanks for giving me that sedative, lady. This guy's still kicking. Yeah, this place is empty. She's the only one that's here. <laughs> In my practice playthrough, which was the plan, don't get me wrong. But. Oh, I want to go buy um, Martyr Logaris' set, too. It's uh, It costs six insight. Or not not his, sorry. Um, I meant Jura's set, which costs six insight. So I'm going to do that real quick because I have eight of them there. Let's go over here to the bath messengers. They feel like collectibles when they're purchased with insight you know when you buy them from the messenger that other founds like the general thing except for these i don't i don't count those you got that shaman bone blade slash foes to make them lose sense of direction go up to 99 of those that's not a collectible or an important item wrong one all right back to the vile blood queen's chamber Master, look! I've done it! I've done it! I've smashed and pounded and grounded this rotten siren into fleshy pink pulp! There, you filthy monstrosity! What good's your immortality now? Try stirring up trouble in this sorry state! All mangled and twisted with every inside on the outside for all the world to see. <laughs> Whoa, Alfred, are you okay? Cool get up. Goofy looking dude. Oh, you, is it? Look at this. Thanks to you, I've done it. Well, isn't it wonderful? Now Master can be canonized as a true martyr. <laughs> I've done it. I have. <laughs> Give the roar gesture. Alright, he just keeps laughing. Make sure you walk up here and pick up the queenly flesh. We can actually resurrect her. So, uh, well, good job, Alfred. You've avenged your master. I hope you're happy. Okay, now we're gonna go head to where we first met. Now, yeah, you can see the old lady left. Oh! Dun, dun, dun. You'll find her dead over here with one last sedative. Anyways, that completes her quest line. Old lady's done. Let's head on down here. Gonna make our way to where we first met Alfred. It's cool we actually finished up her quest line in this. I'm fine with that because we're doing all kinds of NPC quest line shit. You know, <laughs> even though this area is a side area. There's a lot of side and optional bosses in this game. So you only really need to kill like eight of them. These guys, of course, all chumps now. Kill them all in one hit. It's awesome. Feels good. This is what Oblivion needs to feel like when you progress, not enemies become bullet sponges. But yes, now we're up here, and hey, Alfred! I just wanted to... Oh, no. Radiance. You can see the the crown sitting right there. I love it. That must have been his. This must be his master's tomb. But yeah, you avenged him, bud. Did you kill yourself? Is that? I don't get it. But uh, anyways, yeah, we're gonna end this episode here. So uh, next episode, we're gonna begin in Bergenworth, and I'm gonna go equip the impurity room because we're gonna summon NPC allies that are gonna give us vermin for that NPC um, quest line involving Volter, the the master of whatever. Or the League, I guess, whatever they're called. So anyways, yeah, we're going to begin next, uh, next episode in The Hunter's Dream. I'm going to thank you all for watching. My name is Brian, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.